Oh, let's go. Busted. Look at there's like a what these are on rails it looks like. This place some type is of transport. Some sort of station, I think. Yeah. So things are coming and going, I presume. Wow, look at this. Look how inter intricate it is. Bright places. I think there are more rifts back to our world. Can we get to one of them? certainly try. Excellent. No point. light up this room and then try to get some idea Anything we need in here, actually. Oh, okay. It's just like our nervous system or a really crude representation of like a skeleton, but it certainly looks more like our nervous system. Is this a thing? A few of them. Up close with the hand. Oh my god, she's here. Here? This <laughs> is the place I can help Amari. V time is life. Yeah. Against sickness. What do I have to do? Create the time. Sit. Be healed. Create the tie. The energy that powered the portal. Right, because that was so easy to find last time. <laughs> yeah. Worry, there must be a way to make it here, or she wouldn't have said it. Notice how she didn't say find Vitae, she said, create it. Which means we're probably going to have to extract it from something. And that something is probably going to have to be alive. She promised it. Within these walls, she said. I wonder if we are going to have to give our vitae or our life. Oh boy. This doesn't seem to be working. Is something? Okay. We have work to do. Dead. Needs energy to bring it to life, I think. Yeah. Another of these energy devices. We need the, um, the little triangles.
Oh, hello. I lie amongst rustling grass, up on the hillside above the bay. It is the day after the rain. I can smell the green on the breeze. The skies are blue now, with only wisps of cloud. The bell of the white goat clanks nearby as she rips and chews at leaves. I close my eyes and listen to the world. It's a memory, I think. So... Is that memory relevant to us? Are they all the same person? The wind howls. Nope. But I am warm, cocooned under the blanket by the fire. Her head rests on my shoulder, and I listen as her words flow. Plans, hopes, dreams, fantasies. Everything that we know is impossible. But I know that it doesn't matter, for we will be together, and that is everything. Her head rests on my shoulders, so that could be uh, referencing like a child or daughter, maybe, whoever's memory that is. Look at this. What the? F oh, we're above that little station that we were in, I think. There's a transmitter, let's call it. What does this mean? Multiple people all going into these like trams type things, I guess. Going out to whatever those star locations are. Thank God they had matches whenever these ancient civilizations were around. It seems the, like this is almost like a subway map, you know? Potentially all these trams going to this central location. Potentially. Under the sign of Olan, on the eighth rise at the second calling, ITOD make this record. The Vitae flow has reached equilibrium across the network as a result of the adjustments to Factory 6. This is in line with recent calculations and indicates that we will indeed have more than sufficient flow to sustain the Empress and meet the demands of the populace until the new factories are connected 100 rises from now. So record in her name eternal. Under the sign of Olan on the eighth rise, I, on the fourth calling, I, Athar, we make this record, or record. The memory view process has undergone refinement by Suvar. Short bursts of memory are optimal. Combined with the new elixir, the memory cycle now reaches full application at no longer than 57 IDAR. Our goal is to reduce the cycle of pain to improve the public perception of the process 
Tamaku has ordered it, so it must be so recorded in her name eternal. So they're like extracting these mem Whoa. There's someone Holy shit. Under the sign of Edu, on the 12th rise of the second calling, Ayatharu make this record. The cycle of replenishing is now as follows. One application of elixir of flower of emerish, that the memories of the pain be erased. Application of extractive materials to raise level of Inda above indication level that the subject's potential be maximized. So it's almost like they're trying to remove these painful memories to make the Vitae that they extract more secure or more um, effective, maybe. And there's not a lot that we can light up in here. I can't believe somebody's actually in there. Whole bunch of texts. Okay. Subject 1145SV. Initial extraction indicates worker class with a familial structure consisting of a partner and two offspring at the time of capture. High potential yield. For protocol, focus further extraction on early contact with partner and formative years of offspring. In addition, typical strong memories relate to capture location and parental connection. So they're targeting very specific memories to extract. The previous thing was talking about removing pain, but these are removing like good memories. Early contact with the partner. So when you first meet your significant other, things are all like hunky dory formative years of the offspring when you first have your kids. Subject 1144 SV. So this, hold on, this was 1145. This is 1144. Initial extraction indicates worker class, no immediate family, but a strong connection to a single individual. Average potential yield. Focus further extraction on contacts with that individual. Ignore all pre-adult memories, so no familial connections typically indicate no positive materials to use. So the kind of like, what it sounds like is the more fulfilled or the more uh, joyous or happy that somebody is, the higher the potential yield. Um, so if a tie is like, not just their life blood, they're, they're, it's like, even essence might not be correct, but it's like what makes them experience life, what drives them almost, what it sounds like. Subject 1143. So we have 1143, 44, and 45 on this table. Initial extraction indicates subservient class, no immediate family, low potential yield. Focus further extraction on earliest memories, but also consider a discard. So they get these guys, and then based on their family situations, their um, their working class, all that kind of stuff dictates what kind of yield they're going to get. Under the sign of Edu, on the fourth rise at the second calling, I and Baru make this record. Research into the revised chamber has led to a breakthrough. Introducing the memory capsules allows for a more intense reaction to the pain rising to a tensor level of 17 immediately. Subjects no longer rapidly burn out. Mm. Our supply problem is solved. Direct stimulation of the nerves, followed by a dose of elixir of emerish, followed by application of the subject's own best memory. To view it another way, fear, oblivion. Hope. Jesus, that's fear, dark. Oblivion, hope. It's so simple. Fear, there is no V-tie, but hope, there is no fear. So recorded 
<laughs> That's wild. And so wrong. It is the first time I have seen him in a week. And it is as if ten years have bent his spine, sapping the flesh and the color from his cheeks. His eyes are red-rimmed. They will not meet mine. Fear grips my heart and starts to squeeze. Son, he says, she is with the gods now. Weird tools. Ah, there it is. Okay. This is certainly different. Oh, look at them. I wonder who they were. I need to tell you about Alice, little one. She was your sister. For a while, in our little rooms in Paris, it was just the three of us. She loved stories. And she loved to play in the park. And she... She's with your father now. And you're with me. Oh, and... Uh, <laughs> there was Maka. Alice's toy monkey. I've got him. I've got him here. I'm sure she'd love him to be yours. Maka. So... Okay. Wild theory here. Wild theory, but... I mentioned before, like, there could be some type of uh, time do-over stuff. There's a lot of references to, like, we were here before, we were here before. Um, but it could be, like, these micro time cycles where it's, like, we're going through that desert area at the beginning. Like, we've been here before, we've been here before. But now there's, like, maybe this larger thing where it's, like, we've been here before. We're just doing this over again. This entire, all these cycles, these giant cycles that are happening. Maybe. Could be too wild. I don't know. But this picture, bringing up those memories, could be a reference to it being us being back in this time doing this process or something. I don't know. Maybe that's too wild. It certainly could be, but I don't know. One of the things I've noticed about the baby kicking and then us being able to interact with it. Whoa! Shit, it's hunting us. Woo! Oh god, it got okay, this is different. God, dude, what the? F oh, 
It's like we've turned. This creature, this curse, I can't let it go. Whoa! Okay. Okay. Even those things where the creature catches us and it takes us back through what we've been through, it just reinforces the whole, like, we've done this before. Don't worry about it. Is it gone now? We've been over here. Oh, I don't think I can get it open. Okay. Hello. I didn't notice this at the top of this one before. Yeah, see? Then we take that to get to the glowing light. But we need to get this active. Just extract this random person's random things, Vitai, I guess. They're alive. What? Hello. Can you hear me? I don't know. Grunt or something if you can hear me. But I can't reach you. Oh, God. Even if you can't hear me, I don't know how to get you out. Oh, what am I going to do? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I don't know how to help you. Holy shit. I need to get out of here. I can't help you. And this is like... I'm so sorry. This is like, are we going to sacrifice someone else to save our baby, right? I don't love it. Oh, we need canisters here. To fill it. Okay, so this thing is going to extract into the canister. The canister is flowing... I'm not sure exactly. Looks like it's flowing into here. Mm. 
the thing the point i was going to make about the baby kicking is i think that it's encouraging you to check in on the baby to progress some of the dialogue with the baby but sometimes if you just hold it a long time we'll keep talking to the baby and we'll exhaust all the dialogue and then the future ones don't give us anything oh hold on a sec these have different little icons that one's like a fire that one has like the teardrops Do we see that anywhere? Maybe these come into play here. Okay, okay. Ah, okay, there we go. These are a thing. And then we match that with the teardrops maybe. Something needs to go here, but what? Oh, hold on a second. Oh, hold on a second. This symbol represents these little knives. The fire this represents these is grinders. These machines, they inflict pain. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All based on that pain. Holy crap. Oh my god. That's crazy. I'm just not sure. I think we have this, the right idea here. Like, example, the teardrops. This is gonna crush his, his skull. <laughs> oh God. Um. This one drills everywhere and causes pain on the entire body. This is like a burning. I do not like the look of this. Yeah, see? Look at that. Do I have to do I have to put these tools on here maybe? I think so. Yeah, okay. Hold on. I can't believe we're doing this. Oh my god. I still feel like we're missing something here. Oh, maybe I need to load up. Hold on. Maybe I need to load up everything. Oh, I betcha. These would go on the bottom. Um, no, maybe not though, because the knives that we saw, those go on all four. I think these are just different, like, torture options. <laughs> Holy F. See, like, that's showing me that that's connected correctly. If I swap this... Wow! I see. Oh, 
Oh, okay. So the mistake that we made there is that we can't have any of the other tools. And then we have to click the... Okay, there we go. I thought that that would just be the one that decides. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe we're doing this. This is, I feel horrible. Oh, and this is like a progress. Oh, I feel ugly. See, I thought this was representing holes like the back of these things. Oh my god. 